Hello everyone, my name is Echo. Welcome back today to Furniture in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now this is an awesome add-on that I recommend you guys checking out if you're a creative builder, you like to design bathrooms, bedrooms or even kitchens. And yes, that is stained glass you can see in this add-on working and fully functional like we've all wanted. I will get into that towards the end of the video. So how this works is, Everything has been changed in terms of dyes. So all your dyes have been named things such as computer, bathtub, fridge, blender, barbecue grill, etc. But everything starts out as a box. Now you have to unbox it yourself, which I think is a great addition. Now there's 16 different things here which we're going to be unboxing. Um, everything starts off as the box, which is the shulker. It's just a retextured shulker. But I want you guys to create yourself a bathroom, a bedroom, or a kitchen and just tweet me your designs at Echoic Soldier using this add-on. Now let's just get rid of these stained glass because I will get into that later on in this video. Um, I want to show you the main part of this add-on rather than the stained glass. I know you guys are really excited for this feature. It is coming very, very soon. So in here, we're going to grab ourselves some items and we're going to start to retexture these. Now we have a uh, the soap shampoo which you can use with the bath and you can actually get in the bath you can actually get on the toilet which I thought was very very fascinating so we'll just do a couple of items show you an example so if you tap on it you guys can see that box has now been unboxed and turned into a computer this one's a statue I've never seen this one before uh, and a lot of these I'm actually new to so it's kind of like it's really creepy. It really is creepy. It's a like a, a normal skin character. This one is linked to the bathtub. So if we put down the bathtub, you can then see it's empty currently. You put in the bubbles by tapping it. And as you guys can see, we're sitting in the bathtub, which I think is a real great addition. Um, you can have an empty bathtub as well, like this one. You'll see here, uh, this one is an empty bathtub. That one's a filled up one, which looks a lot better in your bathroom. This one is a barbecue grill. This one is a fridge. This one is a table, and then you've got a lot more inside of here as well. So what I've taken the time to do is I've taken the time to design just a, a small bathroom, a small bedroom. I didn't quite get time to do a kitchen, which is why I want you guys to create your own kitchen here. And again, I've just kind of put like a, a rail around it. It would be a lot better if we had banners on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Maybe that's a feature will be introduced in the future. Um, so the box is there. The box is there for the toilet. They're, they're pretty much ready to be used. I just haven't had the time to, to do it yet. I'm also going to place a box here because I think a table would go good here as well, which is like this one. So let's put a table here, which I think fits in quite well. Um, we could probably make room for some other things as well. And actually, you know what? We're going to have a table right next to my toilet. Don't ask me why. We're just going to do it. So when it comes to the bathtub, we're going to put the bathtub here. Which, yes, I know this. You know what, guys? We could probably put a second bathtub here. Let's have a quick look at this. I, I've only messed around with this a little bit. Uh, we, could have, we could have two bathtubs. It kind of looks more like a sink because it's it's really not that big. Uh, but I guess, oops, it, it still looks pretty cool nonetheless to have a bathtub. Uh, the toilet looks pretty cool as well. So let's grab ourselves the toilet. So this is the toilet. There really isn't that many items for the bathroom. A lot of it is for the bedroom or specifically for a kitchen. But yeah, you can actually sit on this, I believe, as well. Let's let's try this because I've I've really not been messing around with this that much. Can we sit on it? Yeah, we can. We could actually take a poop in the toilet, uh, or you can actually take a bath. And maybe you want to do bath with your friends. You could get your friend in that bathtub. So I think that's a great addition. That is my bathroom. I know it's not the greatest. Maybe you guys can make a much better one. But let's grab some of the other items because I haven't had the time to mess around with all of these. So I'll try and grab the items that I would use in a bedroom. So for a bedroom, uh, sure, we'd have a bin. We'd have a chair. We'd probably have a coffee table. A blender. That can go there because we can use that for a bathroom. Maybe we'd have a radio. The barbecue grill would go outside. The soap we won't use. Uh, the statue. Maybe we'd have a creepy statue. Uh, and a computer as well, a toilet definitely not, a stool and a safe. So table, radio, coffee table, chair, bin, statue. Um, I think that's, you know what, we'd have a safe as well, a uh, stool and definitely a computer as well. These three are probably used for other things as well, but we were trying to implement them into my bedroom. This is going to be fun because I've never ever done this yet. So let's put, uh, oh no, 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 we need this first. Let's put a couple of items down. So let's just put, this can go there. Oop, ah, uh, okay. It can't go on half blocks. That's kind of sad. Okay, well, we're going to have to grab ourselves some full blocks. Let's just grab ourselves some normal um, ones of these. Let's put this down and down. And then let's just find ourselves the shulker, which is, of course, the box. Uh, and let's place these down. So let's go one, two, three, four. 
uh, five and six. Okay, so stool. We'll tap this as a stool. Uh, there's another chair, I think. Yeah, this one is a chair. So, I, you know what? They're really tiny. They kind of look like Lego blocks. Um, I do like this one a little bit better, but you know what? It can still stay. We're going to go for the computer next because I think we can probably build our things around the computer. So, I'm probably not going to be using any more stools. So, the computer can definitely go there. I think a computer would be perfect there. Um, a statue I would probably put in the corner. If I'm... There's a... There's one there. Um, I'm going to put this in the corner like this because I think that would fit... Yeah. You know what? It kind of kind of does suit in the corner. It's out the way. A bin that would also go... You know what? The bin can go here. You guys can see there we got ourselves a trash can right there. Uh, radio. You know what? We'll put the radio next to this. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. I would definitely probably have a radio there if I was to have it anywhere. Uh, next thing is, what else can we do inside of here? You know what? We've got ourselves... What's this one? This one's a coffee table. So, you know what? If we're going to have a coffee table, I'm going to put it, like, under the window so it's out the way. So, how's that look? It's it, They're really tiny. That looks like a better chair than they do. That's just my opinion. Uh, what else have we got in here? This is just an ordinary table, which we've already... You know what? The table... You know what? We've got a table outside now. Apparently, these are teleporting, and that's because they, they are the Shulka. I don't know what else we could put in here. You know what? We'll have a safe. I, I don't know anyone to have a safe there, but apparently we're going to be having a safe. What's this one? A stool, which we've already used. Uh, a grill, a blender. You know what? I've decided that in my bedroom, I'm having a blender. <laughs> it, yeah, that's kind of my design. It, it really doesn't make much sense. In all honesty, we've got ourselves a barbecue grill and a fridge freezer, which you know what? We're going to put inside of my bedroom as well. So the fridge and the barbecue grill as well. Yep, we're going to be doing this inside of my bedroom. So, it's a really fun add-on. I mean, if you guys wait, make a better one, please let me know because my looks absolutely terrible. I actually do really like the statue though. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a great addition. So, obviously you guys are kind of curious as to how the stained glass works. Uh, of course, the white works well with the black. I thought this worked well with the yellow as well. Uh, and if you find a clerk while using this add-on, then the clerk will actually trade you all kinds of different glasses, whether it be stained glass, as a block or stained glass as a plane, uh, as a pane. Yes, I said that right. It's a mouthful to say. Let's get this. So we've got a couple of colors here. I've got uh, black and yellow. We've got some other full blocks as well, but you can go in here and you can actually trade the specific block that you want. So let's say we wanted, let's just go for a couple of colors here. I'll just grab a couple of them just so you can have a little bit of a sneak peek of what they look like. Because I think stained glass is a feature that everybody wants to see introduced. Let's go to... Um, you know what? Let's go to this one. Oh, we've already got that one. Let's go with this one. That kind of looks okay. Right, and then we go into the, the panes as well. I think these look a lot better. And they're kind of hard to see. Now, I'm a little bit colorblind, so I really can't see them the greatest, so I do apologize. But you know what? I do like... I do like this one. I've not grabbed this one yet. So, there's a couple of colors. If you find a clerk, he will offer you a bunch of blocks that you can use to build... Uh, just to change up the, the design ever so slightly. And you can see there the... They're kind of okay. They look pretty good. The only issue I've had is with these because they have like a white top. And that's because they're more than likely retextured normal glass blocks. Just to just to have in your, your house as a design, you know? Like they're, they're pretty cool nonetheless. I think it's a great addition for Minecraft players to experience. Especially if you are waiting for stained glass, which I think the majority of you are. I keep breaking everything. But you can see they, they kind of do link together as well. But yeah, find a clerk. He will trade with you with emeralds. Overall, hopefully you have enjoyed this add-on. If you have, of course, be sure to thumbs it up. The download is in the description. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!